కుమార్ ఎస్ ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్స్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ వాళ్ళు చేసిన పెట్టే కాలేజ్ సోలాపూర్ సో ద టాపిక్ ఆఫ్ టుడేస్ డిస్కషన్ ఈజ్ న్యూమరికల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆన్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ బీమ్ సబ్జెక్టెడ్ టు టార్షన్ లర్నింగ్ అవుట్కమ్స్ at the end of this session the viewers will be able to design a beam subjected to torsion this is an example the design a reinforcement detail required for the rectangular beam section with following data size is given 300 by 600 mm grade of concrete is m20 and grade of steel is fe415 the factored shear force acting is 95 kN and factored torsional moment is 45 kN meter and factored bending moment mu it is 1.115 kN meter so sketch the reinforcement details solution first step find equivalent bending moment mel and equivalent shear force with respect to the is clauses assume fifth we have to assume some cover we are assuming 50 mm effective cover so effective depth d is equal to overall depth minus 50 mm that is 550 mm as per is 456-2000 clause number 41.4.2 so mt is equal to tu into 1 plus d by b whole divided by 1.7 so we have substituted the values so we get mt as the torsional moment it is uh, 79.41 kN meter so mt is less than mu hence no need of pr providing steel on compression phase that means do no need of uh, we need not provide compression steel so mel that is equivalent bending moment is mu plus mt so mu plus mt is 194.41 kN mit meter as per is 456 2000 clause number 41.3.1 we have to find out equivalent shear force vel so vel is equivalent shear force which is equal to vu plus 1.6 into this uh, uh, that is uh, m uh, that is torsional moment divided by uh, breadth so this 45 is uh, tu so 45 divided by 0.3 that works out to be 335 kN so second step is to design the longitudinal reinforcement so x limit for fe415 is 0.48d so that works out to be 264 mm so mu limit it is 0.36 fckb into x limit d minus 0.42 x limit this is as per uh, an extra g uh, class number g 1.1c of is456 we get 250.4 kN meter so mel is less than mu limit so equivalent bending moment is less than mu limit hence a singly reinforced section is can be designed for this now as per is 456 2000 clause number g 1.1b the tensile reinforcement ast is given by mel is equal to 0.87 fy into ast d into 1 minus ast fy upon bdfck so substituting the values here so we get a square equation so by solving that particular square equation we get the value of ast that is 11 44 mm square provide 4 bars of 20 mm diameter so ast provided is 1256 which is greater than 1144 mm square third step design of shear reinforcement so we are supposed to find out equivalent nom nominal shear stress tau el so it is vel upon bd so it works out to be 2.03 newton per mm square so for referring table number 19 of highs 456 we have to find out percentage steel provided we have already provided four bars of 12 mm torque so that we have calculated percentage steel provided it was 30.76 so referring this table number 19 of highs 456 we can find out shear strength of concrete or shear stress in uh, that can be taken by concrete that is tau c so it was sort of 0.56 newton per mm square for from table number 20 of is 456 tau c max is 2.8 newton per mm square since our value of tau v is between tau c and tau c max so hence shear reinforcement is to be provided as per is 456 clause number uh, 40.4 now for that we have to determine vus vus is the shear that should be taken by stirrups that is vel minus tau c vd so we are getting 24000 uh, 242600 kN selecting 
two legged 8 mm HYSD bars for sh as shear reinforcement. So, VUS, this is as per clause number 40.4A. So, VUS is equal to 0.87 FYS V into D divided by SV. So, from this equation, we can find out SV. So, this has worked out to be 82.29. So, this 82.29 mm, it is very small. So, therefore, so we have to increase the reinforcement, uh, sorry, spacing of the stirrups. Spacing of the stirrup is too close. So, therefore, which may create problem during concreting. So, hence, provide four-legged. Instead of two-legged, we will provide four-legged. So, four-legged means spacing can be doubled. That is 160 mm center to center. So, check for minimum shear reinforcement, assuming 50 mm side cover as per IS 456 2000 clause number uh, 41.4.3, B1 is 300 minus 100, that is 200 mm, D1 is 600 minus 100, that means we have to uh, subtract cover, that is from the reinforcement, what is the spacing remaining, it is 500 mm. So, ASV minimum as per IS is given by TU into SV divided by B1, D1 into 0.87 FY plus VU into SV divided by 2.5 D1 into 0.87 FY. So, by substituting all these values in this, we are getting ASV that is the minimum shear reinforcement required as 233 mm square. So, can you guess what is the exact or correct expression for minimum shear reinforcement as per IS 456 2000. So, we ha I have given four choices. Out of these four choices, you are supposed to select the correct one. Now, the fourth one is the right choice that is uh, TUSV upon B1 D1 0.87 FY plus VUSV upon 2.5 D1 0.87 FY. So, that is the correct. Uh, option for uh, expression for ASV as per IS 456-2000. Now, ASV provided is 4 into pi by 4, it is 4 legged, therefore it is 4, 4 into area of 1 bar that is pi by 4 d square, it is 201 mm square, so which is less than ASV. So, ASV we, we have calculated just minimum reinforcement that is 233, so therefore this is less than ASV. So, reduce spacing that means which we have taken 160. Instead of 160, I have reduced the spacing to 150 mm. Uh, then the ASV minimum, I have calculated how much it was sought to be. Again, by substituting the values, by we get ASV minimum as 194, which is less than ASV provided, that is 201 mm square. So the maximum spacing provided as per 26.5.1.7a, x1 is equal to 200 plus 8, that is 208. Then Y1 required for finding maximum spacing, it is 500 plus 8, that is 500 is your D1, plus 8 mm, that is your center to center of the leg, that is uh, shear stirrup, that is 8 mm diameter, we have added, 508. So therefore, X1 plus Y1 divided by 4, that was sort to be 179 mm, or 300 mm, whichever is less, this is what IS says. So by selecting SV is equal to 150, this requirement is also satisfied. Hence, a two-legged 8 mm stirrups at 150 mm center to center is satisfactory for this particular condition, uh, for the taking the beam uh, torsion. Now, this is the side face reinforcement. So, as per clause 26.5.1.7a of IS456, so D1 is greater than 450 mm. Hence, side face reinforcement required as per clause number 26.5.1.3 must be provided. So, therefore, as per this particular clause 26.5.1.3, so 0.1% of web area should be provided as a side face reinforcement. So, therefore, we have taken 0.1 divided by 100 into 300 into 600, that is your web area. So, that is equal to 180 mm square. Reinforcement required on each phase, so 180 I have divided by 2, so on both phase we have provided, it is 90 mm square. Hence, provide one bar of 12 mm on each phase as shown in figure. So, area provided will be pi by 4 into 12 square, it is 113 mm square. So, these are the reinforcement details. Now, this we, ha we are having the reinforcement 
this is the bottom reinforcement that is your tension reinforcement right so and this is a side phase reinforcement that is to take the torsion that is side phase reinforcement is 2 12 mm tor side phase reinforcement is 2 12 mm tor and the we have provided 4 12 mm bars here at top that is to anchor these particular stirrups because it is a four legged stirrups so since it is a four legged stirrups we have provided four bars at the top so that is four 12 mm tor these are called as hanger bars so there is no design required for this this is just to hang these particular shear stirrups now the your main steel at bottom that is tensile steel it is 420 mm tor which is provided at bottom so this is total depth 600 and this is 300 and this is 200 mm that is the distance between these two bars and this way so that means rather you are supposed to uh, you are supposed to find out by subtracting 50 50 mm cover we have taken uh, d1 x1 so how we have done it that i have tried to show so 50 50 mm cover so this is your b1 200 so 300 minus 100 that is 200 similarly here uh, d1 will be total 600 minus 50 mm cover 50 mm cover at top and bottom so that was sort to be 500 mm that we have used for the calculation so these are the references used for the this particular presentation thank you one and all